This is Courtyards at Waterstone, one of the hottest and newest developments here in Southeast Palm Bay. We're gonna hit the streets and see what Courtyards is all about. We're gonna look at some homes, check out the neighborhood, talk cost of ownership, and even some incentives when buying new construction. Let's go. So what is Courtyards at Waterstone? Well, this is a gated neighborhood inside the master plan community of Waterstone here in Palm Bay. And this is a newer neighborhood and it's gonna feature homes from builders like Lancy, Miranda, and Adams. As far as proximity in the county, this is going to be in the Southern part of Brevard County. Now, this area is probably, in my opinion, one of the most popular and opportunistic places in the county at this time. I mean, as far as what you get for the money, bang for the buck in a house, it's hard to beat Southeast Palm Bay. So the trade-off is you're gonna be a little bit further away from some of your normal big box retail, like Publix, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot. Those are gonna be anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes away. The good news is there is a brand new Publix that's being developed right now. This is June, 2023. I would say by Q1 of 2024, that public should be open. It's literally right across the street. Um, in fact, it's walking distance. So if you wanted to hit Publix on your bike, on the golf cart, or just by taking a cruise, you could easily do that. So there is a little bit of a trade-off. Now, as far as access to major roadways, it's right off of I-95 at the Southeast St. John's Heritage Parkway exit. So you're about 15 minutes north of the Sebastian Felsmere exit in Indian River County. So it's actually the last exit here in Brevard. And to give a point of reference to one of our major employers in the area, if you want to reference Northrop Grumman and their, I would say, southernmost campus in Melbourne, that's going to be about, I don't know, a 15 to 20 minute drive or commute. So it's in an up and coming area, Emerald Lakes is a new master plan community that's being developed adjacent to this. There's gonna be a huge crystal lagoon. So I think there's gonna to be tons and tons of retail for years to come. Now, aside from being located in one of the most, I would say growth oriented parts of the county, one of the things that I really like about courtyards at Waterstone are the variety and mix of houses that are in here. You've got three different builders to choose from and every builder has a variety of front elevations. They've all got paver driveways, including the apron. So it has a really nice aesthetic. There's a, a really a big variety of even exterior paint colors in here. Um, you've got coastal looking homes with stone exterior. You've got more traditional. You've got what I've even heard as it's called the West Indies, which is more of like a coastal vibe. So really depending on whether you're looking at Miranda, Lancy or Adams, that's gonna really dictate the type of exterior you could get. But I do think it's nice to see a community that offers a little bit more variety in terms of the exterior and the mix of homes that are in here. It doesn't have the same type of cookie cutter feel that a lot of the newer developments in Florida typically have. Now the homes here are gonna range, they're gonna be a mix of single story and two story. There's even some product lines that come with three car garages. So if you want extra parking or storage, that's an option. Now, one of the other things that I really like about courtyards at Waterstone are the waterways here. Yes, they are man-made lakes or ponds, but compared to a lot of other communities, they've kind of designed them really well. In my opinion, they've got kind of a free form outline. So it really makes it look a lot more natural compared to some other communities that have man-made ponds. Now, if HOA living isn't necessarily your thing, there's also lots of other local builders here in Southeast Palm Bay that are building really nice homes similar to these that are on scatter lots, meaning that they're in the city of Palm Bay, but they're not part of a homeowners association. So if you guys have questions about that or you're interested in new construction here at Courtyards, definitely reach out. You can call, text, or email us. Our contact information is down in the description. We would love to help you with that. So costs in courtyards. The homeowners association is actually paid yearly. It's very reasonable, it's $660 a year. So if you wanna break that down to a monthly cost, you're looking at $55 a month. That includes the gated entry, the community pool and playgrounds. Now pricing in here on homes does vary. I've seen pricing start in the low to mid 300s. 
from all builders and then range up into the mid to high 400s, depending on tons of things, the floor plan you pick out, any type of features and finishes. And believe it or not, the lot premiums for waterfront, there, there's not a significant difference there between the waterfront and non-waterfront. So I think if I had to choose, I would definitely choose that. I think the value is definitely there. Now, as far as incentives goes, I think Adams Homes is gonna be the most heavy in terms of incentives. So if that's important to you, I think Adams is a good option. Their deposit is extremely low. It's usually like $1,000 to get a home under contract. And I've even seen them run a lot of interest rate promotions where you can get lower than market interest rates. Now, if you want more control over the selections and finishes in your home, then Miranda might be the way to go. Miranda is going to be a contract at Dirt Builder. They are a production builder, but you're gonna have the ability to choose your selections, make any structural modifications that you want. The downside is, is you do have to wait for that home to be built. My personal opinion is I think that's gonna take at least 12 months. So if timeline isn't a consideration for you, then Miranda could be a really good option. If you are timeline sensitive, that might not be a good fit. Now, as far as overall package goes, I love the presentation of Lancy. These homes that we're actually standing in front of here, these are two of Lancy's most popular model. Now, these are gonna have more of a modern elevation. This one over here is a West Indies. This is a modern. And I think Lancy is unique because they're really a turnkey builder. You don't have the ability to pick any selections, but the way they finish their homes, it's very popular. They have a lot of um, I would say higher end finishes and selections and it's for the for the price. I think it's a very very good value Now this one right here. This is called the new tide. It's an extremely popular floor plan We're gonna go inside and take a look at it If you want to see it then check out this video right here. I'll see you guys there